Hi guys, welcome back to Over Easy Acres. We're here at Home Depot. We need a couple things for the swing set. Thank you. Yep. Sure and I'm also gonna look at the plants because a few of our beds aren't doing well. And I actually think it's because the compost that we used is too hot. I don't know, the plants aren't growing. They're actually dying and they're yellow. So I'll show you once we get back home, but I might just pick up a few plants while we're here. Okay, I take it back. I'm not paying these prices. It's five bucks for like one little seed that's growing. So we'll just, um, I think we need to go look some, for some fertilizer. We have aphid issues and some other little white bug issue. So I think that would be cheaper. Let's just go replant, retry, replant. Okay, here we are on the nasty killer aisle. Um, but we don't want to use anything too gross because we have food all around and we want to eat the food. So we need to find something kind of natural. I didn't even know you could buy that anymore. I've never used it, but I've heard horrible things about it. You know, see this stuff, Malathion here? Growing up in LA, and I think they still might do it, they would uh, have turboprop airplanes fly over and they would spray and then you'd have to cover your car because it would ruin the paint in your car. So oh. it's... Gross. Yeah. But it's right next to the uh, organic stuff, so... you what I picked out. There were lots of nasty things in there and hopefully I did okay. I don't know. I got this because the slugs are eating all my kale. Like I don't even have kale left. So it's very discouraging. And then we got this. Um, this is supposed to help on the creepy crawlies that we have all over my, what, what did we get? I actually call it something that's not, oh, on my hops bush my hops plant that's crawling with some white uh tiny tiny little bugs and then the rest is just all crawling with slugs and aphids so you know fun organic gardening but we try um so I'll take you home and we'll try it out okay so i'm back home i'm going to show you what i'm talking about with this slug issue just awful so first of all i've been growing some things in these towers and i don't have any luck with them so if you have luck with them you let me know what to do my stuff just gets really tiny and dies except for my petunias they have just loved every second of being here they are on the top oh this is my little kumquat seed that I planted. We were in California over spring break and we came back with a couple kumquats and I just threw the seed in soil. So that's always fun to me. Okay, let's stick with the topic though. And I'm going to turn this around and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, here's one. I've already picked off a lot of them that are just doing so poorly that they couldn't even live. Some of them are just stalks. Now the problem is that I can't find the slugs. I come out here in the morning, I come out in the evening. I mean, I'm out here a lot because I really, really love my little plants, but I can't find what's doing this. Now and then I find slugs. I don't know, it could be the little pill bugs. I'm gonna try the spray. Oh, this is a prime example of what I was talking about with my compost, I think being too hot, but here's another devastation. I actually just picked that out and decided to put it in here for no other reason than I didn't want to kill it. Here's my squash looking very, very yellow. I planted this from seed in a little cup and they looked green. So they started off fine at some point and then got yellow. Here's my other bed that I've already pulled everything out of it. Um, this is my alyssum and it's dying. This is a loofah gourd, also looking horrible, hasn't gotten any bigger. And then I replanted loofah and it came up, but you can see this one has yellow tips. All this to show you and to say, the thing that is in common with these two beds that I just showed you, these two, and then I have Another bed, oh, over here, I'll show you the problem too. Because you know, you I know you really care about my problems here, but. <laughs> so 
since we're sharing everything, I'll show you my problems. Okay, here's my tomatillos. Look at these sad, sad little things though. I mean, they look horrible and they looked so nice and healthy when I got them. This bed also has a bag of compost in it. So I'm thinking that they have this in common and I'm just wondering if it's um, wasn't composted down enough and it's just made the soil inhospitable. So we'll fight the bugs and then I think maybe I'll try another bag of just regular soil to put on top of it. Uh, no, no compost in it and see if that can't kind of even it out. Okay, I'm gonna give it a go. See this? This is the problem on this bush. This is my hops and it's looking like it needs help. Well, I'll let you know how it goes with the spray. We'll put it on and see if there are less bugs in a couple days or how long it takes. And I'll try it on the other vegetables that we have as well. It says that you can use it up until the day of harvest. So hopefully it's safe and hopefully it lets us produce a little bit more um, food for us. So anyway, thanks for hanging out with us and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.